I'm Mark the Bass Wizard with TheBassWizard.com and this is going to be the first in a series of videos where I'm going to show you a bunch of little tips and tricks that I've learned over the years that are really going to enhance your playing. Now some of them are musical, some of them are showmanship, but they're all very cool things that you can add to your playing right away. And in this first video, I want to talk about a technique we use where we slide into the first note of a song. Now I don't know if there's a term for this, but I'm sure you've seen people doing this. You're probably doing this right now, and I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. But first let me illustrate the technique that I'm talking about. Right, so that slide right there. Now there's two ways that people usually do it. They usually do it that way, where they just slide down, hit the note on the first beat, or they'll do it this way. Right, so typically people either slide down, hit the note, or they'll go up down, and they'll hit the note, and usually they do it on the E string. But I'm going to show you a different way of doing it, and I'm actually going to use the G and the D string for this. So check this one out. So that right there, similar kind of thing, but instead of going, I went. So I'm, I'm going on, on the G string, I'm starting on the G string, sliding down, and then at one point I have my middle finger on the D string, and I let that take over. So I'll lift my index finger on the G string, and I'll, I'll, I'll fret down with my middle finger. That's one way of doing it, and another way of doing it with that same concept. So same thing, G and, and D string, but instead of going down with both, I'm going up on the G string, down on the D string. And of course you can also do this on the D and A string, you can use the A and E. I really like the, the G and D because it, that high sound, I feel like it's a, it's a really cool effect going into a song, depending on the song you're playing. So that's just another way of doing it, you know, if you're used to doing it like this. Try this other way out. If you're playing a one or two hour set somewhere, then you know just to change it up and add it something a little bit different, you can mm -hmm. do it that way. So I hope that helps you guys out. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, thebasswizard.com. Sign up for my mailing list. Check out my courses. Like my Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. And let's stay in touch. See you guys next time.